guys, welcome to another fun story time with Miss Sarah and Miss Queen Bee Melissa. Today we're going to be talking about friendship. Do you have friends? I bet you do. So I want to read one of my favorite friends books. This is Elephant and who's that? Piggy! And this one is called My New Friend is So Fun! Can you guess what kind of animal that is? We're gonna see inside. So you can see Piggy and that new animal drawing. My new friend is so fun! Hi, Gerald. Hi, Snake. Have you seen Piggy? Piggy just met Brian Bat for the first time. So that new animal is a bat. Now they are playing. Fun! Brian Bat is nice. I know! Brian is my best friend. Piggy is my best friend. Oh, look at them. They're all glowy like, yee! Makes them feel happy. Both Piggy and Brian are so nice. They must be having a really fun time. Yeah. They must be having a super fun time. Yeah. They must be having a super duper fun time. Yeah. They must be having a... Oh, no. What if they are having too much fun? How can they have too much fun? They could be having more fun than they have with us. More fun? Much more fun. Much more fun? worse than we feared. We are doomed. Do you want to see our drawings? I must cover my eyes. I cannot cover my eyes. <laughs> oh no. What, what are the drawings going to be? <gasps> Ta-da! <gasps> what did they draw? Can you see that? Oh! drawings of us. Of course, you are our best friends. And they're happy again. They're all glowy. What did you have to tell us? 
Have fun with your new friends. <laughs> now they're not worried anymore, huh? Because they found out that they're still best friends. So even if you have a best friend and that friend plays with another friend, that's okay. You're still their best friend. And now, Elephant and Snake are drawing pictures of their best friends, Piggy and Brian Bat. Wasn't that a good one? I like that story. That's a good friend story. All right, I have one more I want to share with you. This one is called Hamsters Holding Hands. And you might not be able to hold hands with your friend right now, but you can walk kind of close to them. Make sure you keep that six feet distance, but you can walk kind of near them. So even if you can't hold hands with them, can you still be around them? You can, yeah, you can. You can see them maybe on a computer screen too and talk that way, so that's kind of fun. Hamsters holding hands or even over the phone. You can talk on the phone too. So this one's gonna be a counting book. Hamsters holding hands, here we go. <gasps> One hamster wants to play. What color is that hamster? Did you say yellow? You're right. One hamster wants to play. <gasps> Two hamsters shout, hooray! <gasps> Look at that. They're using that game where you take a cup and tie a string to it and then tie a string into another cup on the other side. And when you pull the string tight, you can talk into the cup and if the other person has the other cup to their ear, they can hear what you're saying. That game is called telephone. Yeah, you could try that with your friend. Three hamsters with a pear. Do you like pears? I do too, especially when they're cold and crunchy. That's my favorite way to eat a pear. So after three comes what number? Four! Four hamsters in the air! Look at that, they're jumping. It doesn't show you anything down here, but maybe they have a trampoline. I don't know. After four comes, what number? Five! Five hamsters playing nice. Look at that. They're sharing, they're playing jump rope, they're being good friends. Sometimes with a little bit of butter and salt and pepper, so good. Seven hamsters holding hands. Look at that. And some of them are holding some other things too. This one has a balloon animal. It looks like a dog. This one has a red balloon. And this one has a pinwheel. Those are fun. You can blow them and they spin around, around, around. Eight hamsters getting tans. Where do you think they are right now? Think maybe at the ocean? Maybe. I see the sun out. They've got their inner tubes and their beach balls and they have popsicles. So they're somewhere definitely warm. Nine hamsters way up high. Uh-oh. Be careful hamsters. That looks pretty far. And 10 hamsters wave. Goodbye. They had fun playing with you today. I'll see you again another time. And that is 10, or I'm sorry, Hamsters Holding Hands. I like that book. Wasn't that a good one? Well, I know that Miss Queen Bee Melissa has some books that are really fun and I can't wait to see them. So I'm gonna let her come and share hers now. Hey, this is Queen Bee Melissa. I've got another friend book my book has a hippo and a little bluebird, and it's called, I Don't Want to Be a Pea. Want to be a pea? This was written by Anne Bonwell and illustrated by Simon Rickerty. So let's see, why would you want to be a pea? Why would you not want to be a pea? We're gonna find out. I don't want to be a pea. All hippos have birds, and Bella is mine. Correction, all birds have hippos and Hugo is mine. Well, they're friends. Anyway, where was I? Oh yes, tonight is a very special night. 
It is the night of the hippo bird fairy tale fancy dress party. If you don't know what fancy dress means, that means you get to dress up in costumes. You mean the bird hippo fairy tale fancy dress party. Whatever. The important part is we have decided on a costume. We are going to go dress as the princess and the pea. Don't we look lovely? And who is the pea? Yes, birds inside that costume. But I don't want to be a pea. It is too green and small. Instead, I will be a mermaid. And you will be my rock. You make a very fine rock. I don't want to be a rock. It is too gray and blobby. But you are gray and blobby. I will give or ignore that comment. That was kind of mean. How about a king and his jester? You look smashing. I look ridiculous. We are not going to be a king and his jester. That's kind of like someone who makes jokes and just acts silly. Let's try Cinderella and her pumpkin. I will not be a pumpkin. Look how very orange I am. I think you look rather nice orange. Thank you, but I will still not be a pumpkin. It's getting late. We are going to miss the party because of you. If we miss the party, it will be because of you. You are the one who refused to be a pea in the first place. If you like peas so much, then you can be the pea and I will be the princess. Uh-oh, sounds like a fight. Besides, I don't even want to go to the party with you anymore. Well, neither do I. You still want orange. I've never been to the bird hippo party without Hugo. Perhaps I could be a pea after all. The party won't be the same without Bella. And she would make a beautiful princess. Oh, she's going to open the job. What a strange costume! Who are you? asks Big Bad Hippo. And who are you? asks Little Red Riding Bird. So here's their costumes. I am Hugo. Bella's hippo. And I am Bella, Hugo's bird. So did they go as their friend? And they both wore the P outfits. <laughs> and we come to the fancy dress party as the happy ending. So they made up, didn't they? They decided, I'm not going to be selfish anymore. So I like that one. I'm going to end our story time with something that I like to drink. It can be hot or it can be cold. We're going to make a cup. So I'm going to show you my cup first. And then I've got another cup. And now I'm going to put one thumb up. Guess what that is? That's my pot of tea. I'm going to pour it in, pour it in, and now I'm going to have a drink. So let's try this one more time with the rhyme. Here's a cup, and here's a cup, and here's a pot of tea. Pour it in, pour it in, and have a drink with me. Now if it was hot, I want to kind of blow on it a little bit. If I want it cold, what would I put in it? Ice cubes, right? How about a little mustard in there? Would that be good? Something yellow, but not like mustard, maybe honey. That would make it sweet. A little sugar. Anything that you like, you can put in there. I want to thank you for joining us for our friend's story time. Watch us again.